Ranked the most accurate forecast in Central Texas by weather rate. This is Fox 44 Weather with AMS Certified Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. Hope you're having a nice day because weather-wise it's been very nice here across our region. We have been looking at mainly clear skies. Winds not too bad. They will pick up here overnight. And then by tomorrow, we're going to see some clouds move in. But take a look at this. This is our live Centex Seamless Scudders Sky Tracker on the rooftop of One Colleen Center. We are looking at a beautiful sky out there. Skies right now are pretty quiet. You can see traffic there on uh, I 14, not looking too bad at this moment. Now, temperatures have cooled off just a little bit. We are down to 72 after a high today of 77 here in Waco. It is 75 degrees in Colleen as well as Temple, 74 down in Branham, 71 right now in Mahay. And we are looking at those winds are roughly, let's say, 10 to 15 miles per hour, just for an average across our area, but from the south and east. So now it is pumping up some more moisture, also some warmer air. And that's why we had temperatures today running above average across the region. Not much going on with the satellite and radar, but you can kind of see uh, what's going to be having. Some high clouds are starting to drift in. Overnight tonight, though, we're going to watch that low-level jet kick in out of the southeast and bring a lot of moisture on top of us here. And we are also monitoring the clouds. The clouds will start to thicken overnight tonight. And by tomorrow, I expect mostly cloudy skies to start. Take a look at our future cast. This is at 7 o'clock tonight. Clear sailing, quiet weather, temperatures upper 50s to lower 60s. By midnight, we're looking at mainly mid 50s, but watch the clouds begin to move in. There we go. So mostly cloudy skies to start the day. And with the clouds overhead in the morning, they're going to act like a blanket and keep us warmer. So we're not talking 30s or even 40s tomorrow. We're talking 50s to start the day here in our area. And then as we go throughout the morning, a lot of clouds around, but they will start to break from west to east over toward Comanche, down toward Lano and the Brownwood area. And eventually by the afternoon, mostly sunny skies. That should allow those temperatures to climb into the mid perhaps a few upper 70s for a little while, but then quickly cooling back down into the upper 60s and lower 70s by 5. It looks like by late Thursday, we'll see that low-level jet kick in again. Here comes some moisture, and what do you know? Mostly cloudy skies to start the day on Friday. Temperatures even warmer, upper 50s to around 60 degrees here across the region. And then as we go throughout the day on Friday, we break them up just like we will tomorrow. Leaving us with some sunshine in the afternoon. We'll climb into the upper 70s and then quickly for your Friday night, back down in, into the upper 60s here across the region. As we pick it up here, this is the bigger picture, 5 o'clock in the evening on Friday. We're still looking at partly to mostly uh, cloudy skies developing early in the morning on Saturday with temperatures in the 60s. Throughout the day on Saturday, it looks pretty good. We're going to climb into the 70s here. But we're watching this front that's going to be moving in our direction. And I do think uh, by early in the morning on Sunday, it's just back to our northwest. Behind it, some cooler air. And there will be a possibility of a shower or two as it moves across. It's right behind it. Nothing major, but I think most of the energy may just stay to the north and to the east. But once again, changes will be occurring on Sunday. Tonight, though, clear sailing this evening, then increasing clouds overnight. About 49 degrees, a low temperature. Winds out of the south at 6 to 12 miles an hour. And then tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies in the morning. And then we decrease the clouds, meaning turning mostly sunny later on in the afternoon. 77 degrees will be the high temperature. And then as we look ahead here, this is the WC Tractor Long Range 10 day forecast. 78 on Friday with clouds in the morning, sun in the afternoon. Same thing on Saturday, 78 degrees. Here comes the front, a chance of a scattered shower, maybe a thunderstorm, 72 degrees, a little bit cooler on Monday. Then we warm it right back up. As you can see, right now on Thanksgiving, I'm going 76 degrees, just a slight chance of a passing shower. Our chances are only 20%. There's a little stationary front kind of hanging around the area. So uh, nothing major. It's not going to cause any problems. It's not going to cause any traveling issues as well. Nighttime lows will be in the 40s and 50s and down toward Bryan and College Station. Upper 70s to right around 80 degrees. More clouds and sunshine right into the weekend. It's just slight chances of rain. A little bit cooler on Monday. And you can see next week we're going to warm back up maybe into the 80s on Thanksgiving with nighttime lows in the 50s and 60s. So we're kind of getting in this pattern right now, Adam, that we'll see some clouds in the morning, sunshine in the afternoon, and temperatures in the upper 70s.